Welcome to Speak Hall Kitchen Garden. Hello Mersey Beat lovers and uh, today we have decided to take a visit to our local Speak Hall National Trust property here on the banks of the Mersey and have a look around the kitchen garden and why not? Get some celery here and some turnips purple top Milan and Victoria celery I've always had trouble growing celery for some reason some beetroot, Detroit we're growing Baltardi at the moment the, uh, these um, cloches are great homemade cloches here for the strawberries raised bed strawberries but they keep the birds off wire netting and stuff but um, I think the volunteers have actually made these cloches uh, think that you could you could actually buy them interesting uh, globe artichokes here some Swiss chard bright lights big city Swiss chard's lovely actually it's a great vegetable cut off the leaves and cut off the stem which is kind of stems a bit salty I find uh, it's full of sodium, so I cut that off. And more Swiss chard. Beautiful uh, vegetable to grow, Swiss chard. You'll agree. Here's Catherine. Having oh, a good look. Oh, yes, yeah, the kale. Is it kale or calabrese? Oh. Oh, no, I think that's kale. No, isn't that's it? kale. Yeah, it is kale. Keeping the pigeons off here because uh, mm. pigeons are always a problem where you've got brassicas, aren't they? The kind they of are. like, yeah, but uh, uh, whenever you grow, ways of... whenever you grow cabbage or you know, well, they're just looking for a quick snack, aren't they? You can't yeah. blame them for that, especially in the winter. This is a nice pumpkin patch here, Ooh, yeah, so with our Halloween coming up, I'm sure they're going to be selling a lot of these in the shop, aren't they? That they nice grow here, hotel over there. Attracting oh, yeah. ladybirds and leaf swings and yeah. all manner of things. I love these bell jars here. Oh, the old traditional. They're kind of like forcing jars for rhubarb. rhubarb so yeah. you know, in about February or whatever, when you've, the the rhubarb is very small, you put them the jars over, and they you for, can put force. Them over as early as January. Yeah. Um, and they so force, force the rhubarb, them. so you get nice. nice small Swiss crops in March yeah lovely yeah mm. a rhubarb is a vegetable but we treat it much as a uh, as a fruit don't we yeah because we have it in sort of like crumble and apple mix yeah. it with apple yeah um, have it with custard and yeah uh, so it's one of those fresh fruits, and isn't stuff it? yeah you can do lots of things with rhubarb Soon make rhubarb jam it's lovely lovely raspberry canes here Autumn fruit in raspberries. Have you seen the cosmos and flower in the border over the far side? Cosmos, yeah. It's beautiful. Bees yeah. are still homing in on it. It's yeah. lovely. So we've got. Uh, it's a lovely kitchen garden, this at Speakhold. It is. Well, we remember when we first came, there was nothing here, was there? And it was no, just this like. Was, um, um, empty. Yeah. for a long time wasn't so it? they've done a, a, a grand job the volunteers of speak hall have done a grand job on of re-establishing yeah the kitchen it. garden here yeah. i mean in the in midsummer it's it's just jam-packed isn't it with yeah with all sorts of uh, it's a brilliant thing and one of the joys of being national trust members and going around these places is, is actually visiting the gardens and mm. sometimes visiting the gardens is more interesting just than sometimes. the house itself isn't yeah. it it is. I mean, we just love the garden. Because these are uh, ongoing and changing all the time, aren't they? Yeah. You know. And they've got a lovely mature Ooh. fig there. There's some winter winter density. Oh, that's what we're doing. Yeah. We're growing winter density, although ours are just little, little tiny seedlings at the moment. So, they're growing it. They're, that's a great crop for overwintering. Their leeks are looking good. What type of date have they yeah. planted? Um, Autumn giant. Autumn giant, ah. And they've got um, Oarsman as well. Yes. You haven't got any mussel? Musselberg. Musselberg. We're growing Musselberg, aren't we? Yes. Pink fair apple. 
That's main crop That's potato. That's main crop in. Yeah. Uh, parsnips, white, white jam. White jam. Mm. Parsnips are gorgeous, roasted. Oh, good. And I've got some turnips here, golden ball. We've, we're growing them. Now, golden ball are an interesting turnip because... That's an old heritage, isn't it? Yeah. Like the... the um, it's great during World War II. The Biltardy beetroots, yeah. They were very, a very reliable crop of uh, turnips, and a lot of people as well, before we had the uh, pumpkins, used to make um, turnip Jack-o-lanterns heads. Jack-o'-lanterns from turnips. turnips. Yeah, and potatoes. Yes. We used to use potatoes as well. Well, some people did. Who used potatoes? We used to use potatoes. I never used potatoes. Yeah, we used to use potatoes. I don't remember that. We used that. to make jack-o'-lanterns out of King Edwards. Did you? Yeah. Really? Them. Yeah, she used to make them. Yeah. No. She did. Well, you learn something every day. And you can use um, Swedes as well. Yeah. The globe artichokes have finished. But come and have a look at these. Come across the yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? Oh, they're gorgeous, and it's the 3rd of October, and they're so yeah. abundant still, aren't they? It's nice Could to it see yeah. some colour Lovely. at the end of, at the beginning of October. Seashells, there's more seashells. Yeah. Oh, Well, like you say, these places, National Trust, properties rely very much on volunteers to do all the gardening. Oh, I wish our cosmos look <laughs> Yeah, I know. They're brilliant. Yeah. But they do a great they do a great job. Oh, this is something I've noticed here, second hand bookshed. Yeah, I'll have a look in there later. Okay. And this I love this greenhouse. This greenhouse is nice. Like you can see some Ooh. Mini pumpkins. Mini pumpkins. Put in the greenhouse to ripen up. You Ooh, still got the tomatoes, tomatoes ripening. Yeah. Mm. But this is normally locked, isn't it, this greenhouse? Mm. It's not accessible. Yeah, it is locked it? at the moment. But some are open, some are not. There's a nice sign uh, about Joseph Hurst, who uh, was the head gardener at Speak Hall in 1890. There he is. So it's great to see a bit of history and uh, a bit of multi modern day cultivation at the same time. And you can only get that if you go to a National Trust property. So support the National Trust. So that's it. Uh, the lovely Speak Hall uh, walled garden. Uh, great to see it up and running. Because a few years ago there was nothing here, there was nothing to see. But I think the volunteers have done a, a grand job in uh, resurrecting this home farm garden. So thank you for joining us and I uh, hope you'll uh, join us again for our next video vlog.